Hi, this is problem 19 from the 2020 AMC 10A. As shown in the figure below, a regular dodecahedron floats in space with two horizontal faces. Note that there is a ring of five slanted faces adjacent to the top face and a ring of five slanted faces adjacent to the bottom face. How many ways are there to move from the top face to the bottom face via a sequence of adjacent faces so that each face is visited at most once and moves are not permitted from the bottom ring to the top ring. Okay, that sounds complicated. Uh, let's label a few things in our figure. We have a top face. We have a top ring of these five faces. We have a bottom ring of these five faces and a bottom face. And the description of the problem is such that we're going to try to figure out how we can go from the top face to the bottom face by just going down or around, but not up. So since we're only going down and around, it seems like we can describe this process as a sequence of independent steps. So let's try to attack it that way. So we have a top face. We're going to move to a top ring. Then we're going to move to a bottom ring. And then we're going to move to the bottom. So to go from the top to the top ring, there's five choices available to do that. So we have a factor of five. Now once we get to the top ring, we can just stay at that point and then move to the bottom ring, or we can either go one of four spaces counterclockwise or one of four spaces clockwise. So all total, we have nine options on the top ring to exercise. Now, once we've exercised that degree of freedom on the top ring, we can choose to go to the bottom ring in one of two ways. We can bend a little to the right, or we can bend a little to the left. So two choices there. Now, once we're on the bottom ring, we have the same degree of freedom as we had on the top ring. We could either stay there or remove one of four faces counterclockwise or one of four faces clockwise. So nine choices in total. Now once we're done going around the bottom ring, there's only one way to get to the bottom face. So we have a factor of one. So we just have to multiply the number of choices available at each of these steps. 10 times nine, 810 choice E.